The first practice for veterans is Friday. Riverside Raceway in Eagle River has seen its share of crashes over the years. Some, of course, more spectacular than others. Last night, an Arbor Vita man is lucky to talk after what he went through coming out of turn two. Tuesday night at Riverside Raceway, Arbor Vita Steve Justin went for the ride of his life. <laughs> Going up and over the wall on the backstretch during the first lap of a heat race. That's a heck of a way to get on the news, but uh, well, we got into the rail there, and then it was just a wild ride. We were bouncing along the rail posts and then just went over. Steve's bandit car ended up on its roof in the woods behind the track. It's the second week in a row he's had a car totaled in Eagle River. He walked away from this accident thanks to his safety equipment. Racers are required to wear a helmet, a five-point racing harness, fire-resistant jacket and gloves, and have a car equipped with a roll cage. Thank God for the uh, safety equipment they have us put in these cars before we ever get started. Yeah, it was, I'm sure it was spectacular for the fans, and I'm happy for that. But in the meantime, I've got somebody's car to replace along with my own. I talked to Steve today. He told me he is now doing just fine. How about that? When baseball, the Yankees claim 37-year-old.